Hello everyone and welcome back to my walkthrough of Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we got an emergency phone call, phone call, <laughs> phone call from uh, Professor Alm saying, "Get back to the lab. There's a disaster." And look, it's a shitty Rattata that I don't give two shits about. I'm going to kill it with my Cyndaquil because I hate Rattatas. So yeah, we have to go back to the uh, Pokemon lab and find out what the disaster is. I know what the disaster is because, you know, it's obvious. I think most of us, if, you know, if you've played the game, you know what the problem is. It's not even that bad, really. It He made it seem to be worse than it actually is, but, you know. What's this Rattata doing? You think you can take out my Cyndaquil, do you? Oh man, I got lucky there. He used like two tail whips. If he hit that tackle, my Cyndaquil would have taken a ton of damage. And if he got a critical hit, I could have got one-shotted. And that would have been the most embarrassing, horrible thing that's ever happened to me. But yes, guys, this is a lot of fun. Um, oh yeah, I've got my running shoes on, which means I encounter things more, so let's turn those off. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I hope you guys are liking Soul Silver. Hope you um, are happy that I'm doing a Soul Silver play through, uh, walk through rather than, um, oh, can I get around here? Yeah, I think I can go left down here. Let me turn my running shoes back on. A soul silver walk through rather than, um, just the regular silver or crystal, which are two great games. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the thing is with, uh, the regular silver and crystal is the graphics on those are pretty bad, but saying that, you know, graphics don't really matter in my opinion. It's the game itself and soul silver is basically just silver, but, uh, with a few minor improvements and I, I don't mind that. I, I quite like that. Oh, who's this? It's my rival! Or, well, it's the creepy guy who was staring through the window. Dosh, dosh, dosh. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste, because that Pokemon's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have a good Pokemon too, I'll show you what I mean. You bastard. Epic, awesome animation activating. It's Weirdo called Passerby Boy. That's a cool name. Of course he goes for the uh, one that I have a weakness to, but I'm two levels higher than him, so I shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. All he's got is probably Tackle and Leer, like me. Or maybe, oh, actually he's probably got Scratch. Totodile looks more like a Pokemon that have Scratch rather than Tackle. Oh god, he's he's planning something. He could get lucky and get a critical here, and then I'm, I'm screwed. You're doing okay for someone weak. Wow, I'm just kicking your ass, to be honest with you. Here we go, Scratch. Please don't be a critical hit. Whew, I'm fine. I am fine. That did, what, 8 damage? A critical hit, I'll take 16 damage and I'll die. And I'd be very upset. But I won. Will I grow a level? Yes! Very nice, I'm quite happy with that. Are you happy you won? Here's 500 Pokebox. Yes. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Pushes out away, you bastard. Oh, what'd you lose now? Your sanity? Give it back, that's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. So what's his name? Would it give me the option to give him a name? Uh, I guess it won't let me. Oh well, I saw his name supposedly, so I can call him whatever I want. Douchey McDouchebag, Twaticus. I don't know, I'll think of something. Alright, I'm trying to take a path, but there's no grass. Seems to be a bit of a fail right now, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, oh no, what have I done? I could have easily gone for the bit at the top. Turns off running shoes. Let's slowly crawl through the grass. Yes! Okay. By the way, I'm trying to hope that the uh, recording's a bit better this time through. Um, I think it might look better because I'm recording this uh, in a more uh, visualised, better looking screen, I guess you could say. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon. See, I told you. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. So you must be the one who did it. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What a slow police officer. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you get his name? Oh, I can give him a name now. What shall I call him? I, I should have thought this through before I uh, started recording, to be honest with you guys, because I am not entirely sure what name to give him. Um, I will call this guy. Let me think of something good. Let's think of a cool name. Ah, no, I don't want to begin it with D. How, how do I go back? There we go. 
Okay, I could call him troll, I could call him twat, cunt, I could call him many swear words, but that would be a, a child, it would be against, I don't know, it wouldn't be a very good family rating, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to call him, um, I, 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 I don't know, I'll call him Landon, yeah, Landon, you are now my rival, I hope you're proud of yourself. There we go, that's that advocate by the way, we'll just call him that. I see, so Landon was his name, yes. Thanks for helping my investigation, my next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. A bit slow, you could have ran. Yummy, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Goodbye, Lyra. Goodbye. Yummy, this is terrible. Oh, that's Professor Oak's voice. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Yummy handed the mystery egg. It's a Togepi, probably. This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Since he gave it to us, we might as well keep it. Uh, what? Gave you a Pokedex? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing potential. I knew but you were a little different. Yes. So why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll be challenge the Pokemon League. Or not. Becoming the champion is not that easy. Oh, I've already been a champion before, Professor Alm. You don't understand. Challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom again. Okay, was that it? Can I go now? Goodbye. I better speak to my mom then. Wonder what she'll say. She'll she'll be fine. She will allow me to go. There'll be no problem. Hi mom. So you're leaving on an event here. Okay, I'll help too, but what can I do for you? Every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. No! Okay, but be careful out there. Team, you can accomplish anything. The reason I said no is she ends up buying dolls and stuff. And that is the most annoying thing in the world when your my mom will, uh, you know, use half my money and buy things I don't want. I'd rather get the full amount. It means I could sp spend it all on repels and stuff. There you are. Yummy, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. I, I don't need to know this, Lyra. I already know how to catch wild Pokemon. Oh, God. What, what, what is she doing? Just like that. Was I too fast? I'll try again. I You're just jumping up and down in the grass. Seriously. Oh, it's Rata shit. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it from now on. I don't care. Where's the skip button? I want to skip this entire tutorial thing. She'll throw a Pokeball when it has yellow health, just like they did in Fire Red. It's ready for a Pokeball. They they sure know how to go really slow, don't they? Just so you don't miss anything, they go extra slow. Oh, will, it, will it break out? Nah, rat right that shit. Thank you, Lyra. Thank you for this pointless information. If you give me some Pokeballs, I'll let you off, but seriously, there was no need. See, just like that, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep. You can try all kind of things. I'll give you these. Thank you. Okay, it was worth it in the end. Now I can actually get a Pokemon team going. Goodbye, Lyra. First things first, Pidgey can go fuck itself and so can Rattata. Those two are pieces of shit. Oh no, I've got the running shoes on. I should have known I was going to encounter something. Hootoot might be useful, but I'd rather catch a level 4 Hootoot rather than a level 2. Level 2 is a bit low. I'm not even going to fight this thing. I'll keep the running shoes on actually because I do want to encounter a level 4 Hootoot and catch it. And then when I do so, I will uh, level 3. Oh, there, there are definitely level 4s in here. Let me just kill this thing. When I do catch it, I will then take the running shoes off, so it's a more of a clean journey. <laughs> clean. Oh, oh, so close. So very close. Growl isn't going to do much. I'm still going to beat you. There we go. Very easy. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the Pokemon from last episode on Who's That Pokemon was Pidgey. Yay! Most of you got it right, so I'm proud of you all. It was a very easy one. I'll probably make them harder as we go down in this uh, walkthrough. 
Level four, here we go. Time to catch this hoot hoot. At least that's the plan. Please don't critical hit him or anything. Let's see how much it does. It does a bit less than half his health, so I can easily get another tackle off and then we'll catch it. And then I can uh, grind it up a bit for the, uh, the first gym, who incidentally has a certain type of Pokemon that I won't say yet. <laughs> okay, Pokeballs. Pokeball go! If this doesn't catch it, I'll be very surprised. Gotcha! He even says it in the in the text. Gotcha! Hoot Hoot was caught. Okay, any information you want to tell me about Hoot Hoot that I don't need to know? It has a perfect sense of time. Okay. Give a nickname to Hoot Hoot? No. Alrighty, now that we got the Hoot Hoot, I have took my running shoes off, so there's no need to run. Except when we're not in grass, we can run. So let's have a little run. Oop. And then we take them back off again. This is awkward. Um, so I have Hoot Hoot, I have Cinderquill. Surprisingly, uh, you only encounter Hoot Hoot at night, but I encountered a Rattata a second ago, so I didn't show it, but I did encounter a Rattata. So, you know, that, that makes a change, because on the first part, all I encountered was Hoot Hoot for like 20 years. I'll get this, I have an Apricorn case, so I may as well uh, hit the tree. It's an Apricorn tree. Oh, I think I kicked it. It's a GRN Apricorn, well, a green Apricorn. It's, I think they're just a... Uh, What's the word? Shortened it. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear in the morning! Oh, well that's a bit of a fail. You could go to bed, go home, have a sleep, put the ring shoes back on. I'm quite happy. I have two Pokemon already. I remember my Fire Red, all I pretty much used was Charmeleon and Butterfree for a while. And um, I, I kicked Ash, really. Yes, very nice. Thanks for waiting, we've restored your Pokemon to full health. Please come back anytime. Thank you, Nurse Joy. So, we, uh, I think we have to go north, I believe. I think, um, let me just check the left. Oh, it's the beach. Yeah, we have to go north. That's, we have to go through where those trainers were battling each other, I believe. God, God damn it, I'm running shoes. Uh, yeah, we have to go through where those trainers were battling each other. Running shoes. And, um, more or less, just go to the first town slash gym place, and, um, well, we'll fight the first gym. Um, my Pokemon are a little underleveled right now, but there's a bit of a journey to go through first. More, more Pokemon. What is it? Oh, it's rat, rat, rat shit. Yeah, I'm quite. Uh, I really want to kill this thing, so <laughs> let's battle it. The well, Rattata used tackle. How dare you mimic me? Critical hit. See, Rattatas have like, this really high critical hit ratio or something, because they always get critical hits off on me for some reason. There we go, that should be it. Easy pickings. Almost level 9. Okay, we can easily put these back on. I think that might be a trainer. Yes, it is. What do you want? I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. You look weak, come on. Oh, you lost that kid in front of you. You suck. Junkster Joey, does he have a writer? He does, because somebody commented in the comment section that I'm going to need to train up my Cyndaquil for a level 4 Rattata. Uh, he even knew the name of the trainer. You know who you are, the uh, person who said uh, Youngster Joey has a Rattata, my first trainer. Don't worry, I'm level 8. I don't even need to have full health to defeat this thing. Critical hit, very nice. That was easy. Oh, only 5 levels to go before he evolves. Oh no, I'm out of Pokemon, and I'm poor, so I only gave you 64 bucks. No, you can F off, you effing beep. I'm not giving you my number. You're not female. You're a Pokemon trainer, then you have to battle. There's no way you can squirm out of this one. It's youngster Mikey. He has two Pokemon, and he has Pidgey. Pidgey shit, just like Radata. I'm guessing that his other Pokemon is a, a Radata. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. And how did he beat uh, Youngster Joey? You know, he probably has two level two Pokemon. Joey had a level four Rattata. All right, it's Rattata. Uh, keep battling. This does not surprise me whatsoever, guys. Oh, okay, it's level four. Now I know now. I know now. I now know why you defeated Youngster Joey. But heed my words, you won't beat me. 
Okay, that was easy. Those were my first two ever trainer battles, if we uh, exclude my rival, who I called Landon, funny enough. Okay, may as well go a little bit further on ahead. Trainer tips, no stealing people's Pokemon. It's very bad. Pokeballs are only to be thrown at wild Pokemon. Who's this girl? I'm not a trainer, but if you do look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. It's like some hidden trainer rule or code. You have to battle a trainer. I think it's a bug trainer. Let's go. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Well, you wasn't in the grass, so it's not surprising. You're on a public pathway. It's a big net you got. What you got then? Caterpie level three. Oh no. These trainers are worse than the, the wild Pokemon. It's about half the health. The good news is I have a level 4 Hutu just in case Cyndaquil should get unlucky and maybe die, but I really doubt that. It's about to send out another Caterpie. Seriously, you have no sense in uh, intelligence, do you? A Weedle would have been the more intelligent choice. To be honest, though, Butterfree's better than uh, Beedrill, I think. Okay! If your cat beats faster than my Cyndaquil, I'll be surprised. Ah, shit! Oh no, two damage. This is too easy. The game definitely gets more interesting a few episodes in. You know, when you when you got a couple gym badges and you have multiple Pokemon on your team, it really gets more interesting, especially with evolutions and stuff. I always enjoy it. Ember, time to get raped. I always enjoy the game more when there's evolutions and stuff. 48 bucks. You're also very poor, aren't you? Okay then guys, well I'm going to leave this one here, hope you enjoyed this episode, if you know what the mystery Pokemon is, uh, let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you all next time.